Welcome to another video in my series on heat embossing. In this video, I'm not going to be demonstrating any techniques, but I'm going to share with you some different ideas of different materials that can be heat embossed. I'm going to share with you some tips that I've learned, so hopefully you can learn from my mistakes, and maybe give you some ideas on some projects you can create using heat embossing. Now, um, let's start with heat embossing on glass. Probably the one thing that you need to keep in mind when you're choosing to emboss on glass is that you choose a thick glass. If you use too thin of a glass, when you heat it, the glass will crack. And you also want to be sure that your glass is very clean. So uh, make sure you don't have any oils on here or any dust. So make sure your glass is clean and dry before you begin your project. And also, uh, something else to keep in mind, when you're embossing on glass, because glass retains a temperature for so long, it will take a little longer than with other projects to actually get your embossing powder to melt, so be very patient. And uh, one other thing to note is do not use thick embossing powder on glass because the glass takes so long to warm up, um, the, heat, the thick embossing powder tends to blow off the glass before it has a chance to melt. So use regular weight embossing powder, make sure your glass is clean, and do not use thin glass. Um, here is um, some projects that I did. Heat embossing on glass. My son calls these pirate bottles and these are just inexpensive little bottles I picked up at the craft store. They were like 99 cents to $1.99. And um, as you can see, I just used my, a Versamark pad and I just kind of swiped um, some Versamark ink on here and then applied some embossing powder. So you get some really neat effects. These would be great um, to fill with some bath salts or maybe some vinegars that you've made and give them as gifts or you know even just keep them around your house. They'll look really pretty sitting on a shelf. You can have lots of fun with those. Um, I do also want to stress that you have to be very careful when you're embossing on glass because the glass will get very hot. So be very careful when you're handling the glass um, and it will stay hot for quite a while. Um, one thing that you can do to speed up the um, embossing time is either set your glass bottles or whatever type of glass you're going to be embossing on. Either set them in a warm window for a little while or if you're using bottles you can fill them with warm water because this will warm up the glass and it will shorten the embossing time. I hope that's clear. Um, it just takes so long to get the glass to heat up so the embossing powder actually melts and that's one way to shorten the time a little bit. And also, like I said, the glass will get very hot when you emboss on it, so be very careful. And then, um, once that you have the embossing powder melted on your glass, you want to let the glass set it aside and let it cool completely before you touch that embossing powder. Because the embossing powder really doesn't set until the glass uh, is cool. In other words, um, if I were to just have heat embossed this and then go ahead and touch this heat em this embossing powder, it would rub off very easily. So you ne need to let the glass cool um, completely before you touch that embossing powder or it will come off. But once the glass bottle is uh, cooled, you can see this embossing powder stays on here. You know, it doesn't come off at all. So um, that's embossing on glass. So there's lots of neat little projects you can do with that. Okay, let's talk about embossing on metal. Oh, this is so fun. I love doing this. Um, first of all, a lot of people uh, emboss on their scrapbook embellishments. This was like a brass little um, tag holder, and I just uh, covered it with some Versamark and some blue embossing powder. So you can um, change your little embellishments to match uh, whatever you want them to match, just uh, using some different colors of embossing powder and some uh, Versamark ink and apply to that. So uh, that's very easy to do. But here's some other fun things. Um, these are just some cheap little uh, barrettes that I picked up at the store. And I uh, just, um, this is what they look like. This is like a before picture. And this is an after picture. And so I turned them blue with some blue embossing powder. And all I did, once again, was I just took my Versamark pad and I just, um, I was holding this with, uh, I believe, some tweezers, and I just put Versamark all over here, and I dipped it in my embossing powder, and then I heated it up. Now again, like glass, metal will stay very hot, so you want to be very careful when you're um, embossing on metal, because it gets very, very hot. Um, some people find that a light sanding of the metal helps the embossing, hold the embossing powder a little bit better. 
I've never had a problem with it, but um, you know, it might be a tip that you might want to try. Oh, and here's um, another little project that I did. This actually started out, um, I purchased it like this, but I didn't really care for it. I wanted a, a dark uh, burgundy colored bird, and so I just uh, coated it with some Versamark. And I think I've got a couple coats of embossing powder on here, but it came out really nice. So like I said, you know, jewelry, hair accessories, there's all different kinds of things that you can create by embossing on metal. And then finally, um, let's talk about embossing on wood and chipboard. Um, wood and chipboard is ideal for em heat embossing. Um, I showed you some chipboard in my video tutorial I did on Intaglio, but um, this is embossing on wood. This is just a very inexpensive uh, little wood ornament that I picked up. And I've, this embossing powder actually has glitter in it. So um, just, you know, a light coat of some Versamark. Dip it in your embossing powder and heat it up. It doesn't take long at all with wood. That embossing powder melts very quickly. Um, and here is another piece of jewelry that I created. Um, this is with the intaglio uh, technique that I demonstrated in one of my other videos. What I started out with, this is just some little wood washers that I picked up at the craft store and I uh, applied uh, two or three um, layers of embossing powder and then when my last layer was hot I took my stamp and you know made my image into that little washer but look look how neat that is for that um, necklace or choker and then another fun thing to do with wood is um, I don't have any finished examples because I've used them all and sent them away but um, these beads have all been embossed with embossing powder. A lot of people wouldn't think that you can emboss on beads, but this, um, look at this, isn't that beautiful? You can create whatever color of beautiful beads that you want um, by heat embossing. And somebody's gonna say, well, you know, how, how were you able to do that? So let me just show you very quickly how I did this. Um, I actually prefer to use these colored beads that I pick up from the store. Sometimes they're hard to find. And these colors are kind of garish, but you can change them whatever color you want using heat embossing. And um, you can use those, or you can use these clear, unfinished uh, wood. And all you want to do is you're going to um, take your bead and get a little smaller one here to work with. And I use these, um, what are these called? You use them for cooking um, skewers, wooden skewers that you can buy at a you know in the cooking section at your grocery store. It's just a wooden skewer that you put meat on for the barbecue. Okay, and this is what I do. Uh, you can use pliers or some kind of um, tongs to hold your bead. And I like to use instead of using Versamark on here, I like to use color pigment ink because then you can see. Um, what parts of your bead that you've, you've inked and what parts you haven't. So I'm going to hold this and I'm going to get my ink here and here. So that gets the ends. And then I'm going to put it on my skewer and I'm going to just roll it in my ink so it's all coated. I'm going to do it kind of fast because I'm on camera here. And then all you're going to do is you're going to uh, whatever uh, color that you want in, to emboss this you're just going to coat it then with your embossing powder and you're going to heat it just like you do any other kind of heat embossing projects and you can come up with some really um, neat this is an embossing powder that had glitter in it um, this is beautiful this blue bead I created with some blue embossing powder so you know I have these I can string them I can use them for all different kinds of projects um, a little uh, tip here is when you do heat emboss on wood, it will uh, the heat the embossing powder will melt very quickly. So you don't want to heat too fast or too close because then your embossing powder will tend to bubble up. Just takes a little bit of practice, but you can come up with some wonderful effects um, with wooden beads and heat uh, embossing powder. So I hope you uh, enjoy those uh, different tips. Oh yes, I do want to tell you, um, do not emboss plastic. Uh, when you emboss plastic, not only does it usually melt, but it releases toxic fumes. So heat embossing on plastic is not a good idea. So uh, hopefully um, you got a few ideas with this uh, video, and you'll try embossing some different materials around your home.